All right, hey, uh, let's make sure this isn't lagging. What a nice evening it is. Okay, yes, because I actually had one of these recordings that lagged, and I'm like, oh shit, now I have to re-record it after a while because I can't do it immediately because it's not a genuine reaction. So this one didn't lag so much as I didn't record any audio in the first reaction, so I've waited a while, and now I'm going to watch it again. I don't remember much about it except the fact that Caillou knows things that if this actually happened at the time that it was supposed to happen... He shouldn't know. Like, I think we're supposed to assume that Caillou was actually on the Titanic and sank it, but he knows stuff about the sinking, that, about, like, stats about the sinking after the fact that you couldn't know beforehand. So that's, I found that entertaining. So, yeah. But it's getting cold outside. I wonder why. It's getting cold in here, so pour it on all your clothes. I love the streetlights in the ocean. Those fish, those Atlanteans really know how to build stuff. And by the way, I love how the captain of the Titanic, which existed in the, in the early 1900s, has a freaking iPhone. Hello. Captain Simon of the RMS Titanic. This is Captain Dave of the SS Californian. I needed to warn you about looming icebergs possibly in the area off the coast of Halifax. And you might want to slow down to about 15 knots just in case you collide with an iceberg. Okay. Let's hope you don't, but... Hey, okay, thanks. Have a good afternoon. Hold up. I'm feeling tired. I think I'll head to sleep for the night. Okay, it doesn't seem to be lagging. I love how he just leaves the freaking ship's doors open. There's no first mates. There's no cabin crew. Nothing. There's nobody here to stop him from doing this. I'm going to ram the Titanic into an iceberg and sink it 20 minutes before midnight. I love... Oh, no. He's talking about when it rams it. See, how would he know this if this was before the fact? This is what I'm talking about. There's more than this. What do you see? Iceberg, right ahead. I'll put her in reverse and hard to starboard. And the ship will scrape the iceberg on her starboard side, opening up the first five compartments. Yeah, because I would know that if I... I just can't believe that. I mean, I can't get immersed when that big of a reality gap exists. Like, how would he know this before the ship ever sank? You know, this is after the fact stuff, and he knows exactly what's going to happen, down to how many compartments are going to flood, how the ship's going to get scraped, yada yada. He knows everything. Yeah, I want to. I I'm resisting the temptation to mention the video buildings in the background because I don't want to like, I I don't want to like make the people of the Titanic or the disaster of the Titanic seem like a joking matter because it wasn't. Would he really eat stuff if he was that shocked? I think he'd be like, what the fuck's going on here? And run. I'd, I'd probably do that too. I'm like, what the fuck? I wouldn't keep eating. I shouldn't knock this out, but I'm. it's hard to resist the temptation. I love how T Caillou is sitting there laughing. Dude, what makes you think you're going to get off the ship? Yay, I just rammed the ship into the iceberg. Now it's going to take on water. And there are only 16 lifeboats on board. And I will make the order of women and children first into the lifeboats. But I will make a run for the lifeboats. Ha 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 ha. 
Oh my gosh. I guess that explains how he's gonna get off, but <laughs> Wow, he's a dick. He's the only one in that lifeboat. Well, fuck yourself, Caillou. Yeah, because apparently the sinking the ship wasn't what made him a dick. This is what really sealed the deal. I loved that music. Yay, I sunk that stupid piece of ship. Rest in hell RMS Titanic, more like Like barfing ass tie, can't it? Really, Caillou? Hey, Kalu, how did your day go? It went fine, mom and dad. It went fine. You know, I sunk a ship, but it went fine. Let's watch the news. We now interrupt this broadcast with a special report from GNN News. And for once, this is actually something I would expect to be on in the news. Here is Grace with a report. Good afternoon, going on at Bell, and we indeed have some breaking news. Last night, the RMS Titanic sank on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. There were 2,200 people on board the doomed ship when it struck an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. and went under at 2.20 in the morning. Only 708 people survived. I swear, this sounds exactly like it was cut and pasted from a Wikipedia article. 1,500 people perished. We you know, hold up. Hold up a second. Okay. I don't, couldn't find the source for that. I'm kind of lazy and I don't really feel like looking through every single, like, online entry because that would take working forever. But I swear, the way that it was worded sounds exactly like something that would come from an online news article. I, I don't think that the person who actually made this, I, it just doesn't sound, who would write that way? Aboard the doomed ship? It just... I don't know, maybe that's just a minor thing to f focus on. New York City, where there are witnesses wanting to share their stories. I was about to go to sleep when all of a sudden the ship started to shake, and then I was told that the ship hit an iceberg and that it was going to sink. And then as we were in the lifeboats, I saw a lifeboat with what appeared to be a familiar baby show character steaming. He was in a yellow t-shirt and blue shorts. I love how he... <laughs> How would he focus on that in the middle of a traumatic event? I just... Ugh. And I also don't think they'd tell people the ship was sinking. They, I think that that was something they tried to withhold and people eventually found out on their own. Wait a minute. It was none other than no good Caillou who rammed the Titanic into the iceberg, opened up five watertight compartments... And apparently he knows how many watertight compartments opened too. ...and sank the ship. Shame on you, evil bastard. I was eating Italian food with my friend, but the ship started shaking. We were then reminded that the ship hit an iceberg and that it was going to sink, and then as we were loaded into the lifeboats and lowered into the sea, I saw Kalu in a lifeboat skimming. Wait a minute, Caillou? It was you who rammed the ship into an iceberg be Okay, I know it actually was him, but how would you know... Just based on that evidence alone that it was him, I don't think that's justified cause. Of course, then again, Caillou knew all the facts about the Titanic beforehand. Maybe they knew all the facts about him beforehand somehow. I mean, if it happened once, it can happen again. Because I saw you at the bridge. You should be lucky that there were some survivors. <laughs> lucky that there were some survivors. Yeah, now you're only going to get 50, 57,000 life sentences. <laughs> Kalo, I can't believe you would be insane enough to sink the Titanic. That's it. 
I don't want you in my class again. You should also be grounded by your parents any minute. I am Rose Dawson, and I saved Jack from drowning in the Master at Arms. But I got back on the ship to be with him. However, after the ship went down, Jack and I found a door. But only I could fit on the door, and sadly Jack died. Then I saw a light boat with a familiar baby show character scheming. And it looked like Kailu. Wait a minute. Kurilu, I knew it was you who sunk the Titanic. You should be ashamed for killing Jack and 1,500 other people on board. That's all the- You do realize Rose Dawson didn't actually exist, right? News we have for now. Stay tuned for GNN News at 5.30 for more details of the Titanic disaster. We now resume our regular programming. Kalu, there are people who said you sank the Titanic and took the lives of 1,500 people. Is this true? Oh, mom, 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 mom. I took over the wheel, rammed the ship into an iceberg, and it sank. Thank you for the warning, my good sirs. Caillou, you don't sink ships by ramming them into an iceberg. That is the most insane thing you have ever done. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love the way he worded it. You just don't sink ships, but when he words it that way, he makes it sound like it's okay to sink ships in other ways. That's it. We're grounded, 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 grounded for 198237645463789109234268647389104357 billion years. Go to your room now. And don't come out until your show gets cancelled. Well, I, I thought his show was cancelled. Of course, then again, if this is supposedly taking place in 1912, I guess he doesn't ha have the right to come out for over 100 years. Interesting. I, I'm sorry, I know this is a disaster movie, but I can't find it at least amusing how he knew everything beforehand. Call me what you will. I mean, I don't know. I guess part of it's I just don't take these Go Animate videos seriously. I used to, and I don't. Because if you take them too seriously, you go crazy. Believe me, you lose, you get so mad and shit at this stuff. So I'm probably not taking it seriously, even though I should be. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Please don't hate me.